Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know what Pebbles is doing in the background there. Um, so today I'm going to be sharing everything that I have got so far for, well I'm pretty sure I've got everything ready now, um, but everything that we have got for our adopted puppy. I can just see her. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here. The little man will probably start scratching at the door as soon as he knows that she's getting some attention. Um, so yeah, everything that we have got for our adopted puppy that is coming soon, I can't say exactly when, but very soon. She is a Samoyed Poulin Husky Cross. She's about five or six months old, I think. I have done two other videos that instead of resharing them, I'll just link them above and below so that you can go check them out to see the rest of the things that we have bought her. Um, but there is a TK Maxx slash HomeSense haul and you can see the food bowl, toys um, and some other kind of care accessories and a toy box. And then there is a B&M haul and I share some dental stuff, some treats um, and some accessories. I think that's everything. But the rest of the stuff I'm going to share with you guys today and I think we're all ready for this puppy. So these are all coming from a lot of different places. Um, but let's get started. I will show you her feed at the end. Um, I'm pretty happy from what I've ordered. I'm hoping she'll like it, but we will see. Um... So this one, this came from Pets at Home, and this is a toy, it's a crinkly book, and it's got, it's like a snuffle blanket, snuffle mat thing, um, it's got loads of different, I've got hair in my face, um, it's got loads of different like little bits and compartments where you can kind of hide treats, and it's just kind of a sensory um, way to entertain them, <coughs> squeaky there. <laughs> um, and then we've got loads of different places to hide treats, um, some really difficult ones. I'm hoping this is going to last and she's going to be really delicate with it, um, but whether she's going to be the sort that destroys toys or is gentle like our Malamute, we will have to see. Um, so that's a really fun, different sort of sensory, sensory enrichment toy is the word I was looking for. Um, so next, an accessory. I have not opened this yet. I probably should have done. Um, this came from Amazon. So the rescue suggested, just because um, a lot of rescues are nervous and they might try and escape, that it's good to have a double lead system. So maybe a harness and a lead and then a slip lead as well. And just generally good to have one just in case they run away and you can easily catch them. Plus I generally think even if we don't use this, it's good to have in the car just in case there's ever a stray dog that we need to kind of get hold of and keep it safe. Um, so this is a nice blue slip lead. Her name is Bluey, so I'm sure people will think she's a boy. It's very simple, it's a basic slip lead. There's nothing too exciting about it. I didn't spend loads of money on this one if I'm honest. Another lead that I've got as well. Um, for when she gets more comfortable with being on lead and stuff and we'll see what she's like whether she tries to bite the lead or how that goes um, but and this came from Amazon as well and this is a flexi and it's a tape one um, so you can see that's kind of how the tape looks and um, this is what I'm kind of used to um, I have had a rope one as well I've had both and I just really like flexi leads. Um, my other two dogs, the recall is not great. I'm hoping hers is going to be better and I'm going to really train her better. We will see. Um, but yeah, this is a medium, so max 25 kilo and it's 5 meters in length. I don't know exactly her size, but I think at least for now this should be fine. Um, even if we do have to upsize in the future, it's hard to tell because she's a mix how big she's going to grow. So we will see. <sighs> We did get this toy, and I know, I know this is going to annoy me, but it is very special because it reminds me of my Labradoodle, which was, this was her absolute favourite toy ever, and she would go crazy for this, and these were really hard to find, and she was poorly recently before she passed away, and I tried really hard to find these, and I couldn't find them for her. Um, she did obviously rip them apart, but she did love them. Yeah, it's going to annoy me, 
but I'm trying to involve our Labradoodle that passed away. Um, I did get her a, a squeaky, like this sort of material, but a rubber pig, um, which she loved as well. But this was the ultimate toy. So that will go in her toy box that you'll have to see on the Home Sense haul. And the last lead I'm going to show you is from Possum, Possum Paws Boutique. And I've had my eye on these for a while before I even knew I was getting a dog, but they were just so pretty. Um, I can't remember, I don't know if this is Marshmallow or Rainbow or something, it was like a really cute name. Um, I've never had a rope lead for a dog. Um, I'm hoping it will be like teething proof, but we will see. But it's, it feels nice and strong. I just love the colours. I think it's like really fun. Um, and it's got a cute little thing on that says Paws and Paws Boutique. Feels fancy. It's just hopefully going to be a useful, pretty short lead if we do need it. Um, and they do have a Disney collection and I'm eyeing up ordering a harness. I forgot actually in my B&M haul to share this but I have got a collapsible dog travel ball and it was £1.50. Um, so that's just handy for if we want to do days out and I think it clips. So eventually I want to get like a, um, a pack or like a backpack or something that's for dog walking and then I can clip this on. Um, but I'm, I feel like I've spent enough on this dog that I need to just wait a little bit. Maybe ask for Christmas or something for um, any more dog walking accessories. And then we've got this. This came from Amazon. Um, she's probably going to sit in the back of the car because we have a seven seater. But I'm hoping this dog is going to be really good for my son that's um, struggling with his emotions at the minute. And, and like just generally struggling with like bullies and things like that and I think this is really going to help him and so there is two seats in the back like in the boot of the car so I'm going to hopefully clip her in with this seat belt attachment and then this will clip to a harness on her and it's ex extendable like stretchy um, so obviously it's not going to like yank her but it is going to keep her safe in the car um, but we might also look at specific dog safe crates as well but they are quite expensive but I saw recently um, a news article and a dog the whole car had been wrecked but this this really high quality dog crate had saved this dog's life so that's kind of I'm considering whether we can fit that in but I don't want to put the seats down so we need to work out and have a look that's definitely something on my mind to consider and then we got a dog tag because of course um, it is a legal requirement for a dog to have a dog tag and this is from Coco Pup London and our house is generally very neutral themed so this just says I'm chipped um, I'm pretty sure that's a legal requirement too um, I won't show you the back because it has all my details on um, we don't put we never put the name of the dog on the tag because it can make it easier for people to dog nap so we just put our last name and then our details so we've got our address on there and both our mobile numbers um, but it seems like it's pretty good quality we do live near the sea as well so I think it's just a cute colour you can get where it's got instead of it saying I'm chipped you can get ones where it's like um, a cartoon version of the breed and the Sami had one did look closest to her but she's just so unique looking with being a mix that we thought it was best to just go for the simple I'm chipped one. So I think that will look really cute when we get her a Disney harness and she's got the, the rainbow lead. Just a whole mishmash of stuff going on. So technically I got her this blanket from Asda, which is really cute, neutral theme. It's dog, like dog themed as well. It is for a human, but you know, I'm pretty sure it's suitable for a dog. Um, I actually got this more for the fact that I got excited, went shopping, bought loads of dog stuff and then realised that we didn't have time to take stuff home and I had to try and hide a whole dog bed and all the dog stuff in the car with picking up the kids. So I actually just bought this blanket literally to cover the stuff and hide it from the kids and my son thinks it's something to do with his birthday but it's not. They know that a surprise is coming though so... Um, I'm excited for them to see her. Um, yeah, can't wait for that because we're not telling them, so it will be a surprise. 
I used to own a pet bakery um, and I just changed my mind on what I wanted to do, went in a different direction but I still had quite a bit of stock left and my mum used to own a dog online shop. So I'm going to show you some, some toys um, and then I'll show you her bed and the food at the end. So I've got this, this is a special tough toy so we're already sorted for Christmas. Um, it's got squeakers two of them but it's meant to be super tough material and I think there's there's a reindeer one as well so I think it's like really well stitched um <laughs> I got this it was the last one I had um just to make her look pretty with a little bow we've got a frisbee that is a cupid and comet one um I don't know if they sell these anymore um but she is going to be spoiled with toys let me tell you um because my obviously i had a pet bakery i had a lot of food themed items so we have got a teacup a cup of tea um we have ice creams so these are oh these are from pet london um a really nice company that does really cute um dog toys and stuff and then we've got this i'm pretty sure that, yeah that's from pet london as well so i think this was the last the last snowman that i had <coughs> squeaky as well i feel like she will chew the bobble off that and possibly the nose but we will see and this is a rope toy from Pet London. It is a snowman. It's pretty small and I'm pretty sure the ribbon will get chewed to pieces. I love crinkle toys. I just like the fact that they're different. Oh, and it actually doesn't have a squeaker, I don't think. Which is nice, because I don't like the squeakers. Um, but that's a lollipop. And we've got a donut, also Pet London. A Christmas pudding which I'm sure this will be off in no time at all. This is not Pet London. I got this from a wholesaler's, I can't remember. Um, but it's got like a mirror and yeah, it's just a cute little plush toy so she can have that. Um, that'll go in her toy box soon. Um, but we've, we've definitely sorted for Christmas. Of course we have dumped everything, including a lint roller, onto the dog's bed because I've had to kind of have it in my bedroom um, and I've told the kids that it is, oh, there's even muck on it already, but I'm pretty sure that you can take the cover off. Let me just check. Yes, it's got a zip so we can take the cover off. It's a nice shirt for fleece. It's memory foam. This is the large one. It was on offer at Pets at Home. I'm hoping it'll be big enough. I'm pretty sure it will be, um, especially as she grows. Um, I don't think she'll get huge, I don't think she's going to be a huge dog, but I think she'll be medium to large, I'm not really sure what it's kind of hard to tell, um, but this feels so soft, you can kind of feel like the nodules of the memory foam, um, but yeah, that is her comfy, cosy bed, because we did sign a contract that because she is a rescue and has come from traumatic situations, um, that we would not put her in a closed crate and so we kind of decided we weren't going to bother with the crate at all even if it was an unlocked open one we just thought we'll just give her a nice cozy bed and I'm hoping that she just ch chills and settles on a night but we will see um, I've never had a dog actually I think her Malamute did and that's because she used to overheat in her crate and that didn't go too badly but our Labradoodle was a whole other story because she just wanted to eat everything. And talking about food, this is the last thing I want to show you. So, yeah, it's puppy one. Two to 18 months. And I've gone for Wainwrights. It was a reasonably priced and I was really happy with the protein content. I checked all the ingredients, was really happy with that. Um, but it is for a large breed. It don't know if it says anywhere um but it's the superfoods range with chicken which is just a nice simple protein that most dogs are used to um but it has glucosamine and chondroitin in and because she could be a larger breed and especially if you do have a larger breed um the glucosamine and chondroitin really supports joints um because that can be a really big issue so i really wanted to make sure she was well looked after this was within budget because you know still it's just dog food can really add up 
um, let me just see, it's the protein content. Protein is 28%. And I didn't want any food that was like poor quality meat either. So um, the first ingredient is chicken, 50%. And it's freshly prepared free run chicken, which is 26%. And then chicken meal and then chicken fat. Um, but we've got so many different things. We've got sweet potato, um, vegetable stock, minerals, dried carrot, beet pulp, linseed seaweed, chicory extract, which is a source of prebiotic, dried spinach, uh, blueberries, nettle, parsley, rosemary, yucca, uh, which I think is possibly also to help joints. And then you've got your glucosamine, chondroitin and turmeric, which is um, really good for joints and anti-inflammatory. So really good for the larger breeds. But even if she doesn't become a larger breed, it's still good to look after her joints. And it's also got dried spearmint in, so hopefully she'll have nice breath. But I did get her some teething, what are they, They're like dental chews. And that is in the B&M video that you can go and I'll link it. Um, but yeah. I think this is going to hopefully last and I'm excited to bring her home and just get to actually have her be a part of our family. If you did like this video and you found it helpful then leave a thumbs up. Go check out my other videos and then let me know if you think I've forgotten anything. I don't think I have. I've worked with dogs. I do dog walking so I've worked with them for a lot of years but maybe I'm overlooking something and I've completely forgot. Um, to be honest, it wouldn't surprise me. I've got three kids and my mind <laughs> trying to keep up with everything is, yeah, it's chaos. But we're going to have chaos with a puppy soon, so that's awesome. <laughs> um, a puppy and two kittens. They're not kittens, they're cats. They're like senior cats. Anyway, I'm going to have some coffee. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be sharing this journey and sharing when she comes home, over hauls, things that we do with her, training, all sorts of things like that. Um, so I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video.